I grew up in a small town in South Korea. I was a sixth son from the one family. I did never get to meet my very first brother because he died before I was born. My father passed away when I was five. My mom couldn't find a job. It was a very struggle time that it's not like Korea now. It was third world condition. So I slept in a lot of tent house, basically. When my aunt heard about our struggle, she, one who got married to American sergeant, they invite us to the United States in 1975. That unfortunate situation, which was I couldn't speak English, but I was thrown into the classroom. Almost every artist consider making art as a therapeutic. But for me, it was a more survival, really. I walk into my art classroom, they were giving me all the paint. To this date, I was in tears because nobody gave me anything. To me, it's a beautiful culture shock of America that I'd never forget. When I came to Brooklyn to go to my grad school, my apartment got burned down. While I was driving taxi cab, I was robbed a couple of times. I should have lost my life on that one. But all those things helps me as a human being who I am today. So I feel every morning how blessed I am to be living each day. After 30 years being an artist, one of the art curators invited me to have a show in Korea. Up to that point, I didn't want it to go back because I didn't have good memory of growing up. I went back. First thing I did was look for my birthplace. When I found it, it was so beautiful. That big tree was very aged, but it was still there. That really influenced me to start use tree as a self-portrait almost, to symbolize who I am as a person, how strong they are, no matter how outside appearance looks. Then one day I saw bamboo was totally bent down from snow. It was so beautiful the way it was bent, then slowly it was melting. It was coming up so strong. I said, wow, that's it. We are going through that very difficult time. That's when I start to work with not just to manage bamboo, but decide to use bamboo as a symbol for our human flexibility and how strong we are. A lot of times we look at human beings, we start to say, oh, they don't look right, or they are different than me. It is such a beautiful thing if we look at it more optimistically. To be a true artist, you really have to put your time and observe. It doesn't matter how poor you are or how rich you are. You really have to be yourself. Not a short distance running, is a marathon.